hey guys, I spend my time here um, working really hard to provide you with as many bits, different bits, lots of different sources to help you with your revision as I can. So the videos, the free revision guide, the flashcards, the workbooks, the predictive papers, um, loads and loads of stuff because I know everyone revises in different ways. Some people are going to find the videos really, really useful. Some people are going to find the workbooks really, really useful. Some people are going to love the flashcards. Some people are going to hate the flashcards. Um, some people are going to want to do as many papers as they can. Um, and some people aren't going to want to do any papers at all. But I have added another thing in there to help you revise. And these are multiple choice questions. Um, there are literally thousands of multiple choice questions which are up on my website and more and more are going up every single day. So AQA Science, Edexcel Science is completely done. So there's questions topic by topic and then there's kind of like a set of mixed questions for paper one, a set of separate science mixed questions for paper two. Biology paper one, biology paper two, chemistry paper one, chemistry paper two, physics paper one, physics paper two, set of combined science questions, set of separate science questions, and then again topic by topic. That's for AQA and Edexcel. That is already done and waiting for you. The other examples for science are going to come very, very quickly. Maths, I've done a large number of topics. Um, so I think all of number is done, most of algebra is done, and then I'm working through geometry and stats and ratio as quickly as I can get stuff up there for you. Um, now the advantage of multiple choice questions is that it is something different for you. So if you have a bit of information which you watch the video on, great, you understand it. You try a few questions, great, you understand it. You put it in kind of like an exam context and maybe kind of like that's a little bit tricky. But multiple choice questions are kind of like a really kind of like a low stakes way of revising. It's not like other sites where teachers can set you work, they cannot do that. Nobody's going to be able to check up on what you've done. So not like other sites where your parents can log in and see what you've got on this. My website does not do that because mainly that involves writing some really complicated code and I cannot write really complicated code. I can write really complicated science questions and I can write really complicated maths questions, that's what I'm good at. What I cannot do is make a fancy website and write a load of code. So unlike other websites which have this massive infrastructure and lots of people who can write fancy code, this is just me putting some multiple questions on my website. But there are thousands of them up there and you can try them, you can do them on your phone, you can do them on your computer, you can do them on your tablet and nobody's going to be able to check up on you. It will tell you the right answer after the end um, and the point is if you keep doing them over and over and over again, so if you pick like bonding and structure from science and you try it one month then you get like 60%, great, well done. Um, but you saw what the right answers were and the next month you try it again and maybe you get a couple more right. That's fantastic, absolutely brilliant. You keep trying it, maybe every month, maybe every other month, and the more you will start to get more and more questions right because you are learning as you are doing this. But you don't have to write anything down, no one's going to be checking up on you. It's, I wanted to make something that was going to be really low pressure but would have a lot of impact on um, your vision, so how much you learnt stuff. And I wanted to provide you a different way of learning, because I know everyone likes to do things in different ways, and some people will want to do online multiple choice questions, and some people want to be able to print out papers and practice those. So this is just another different way of revising, another different way of accessing um, the information, testing yourself on the information and seeing what you do. The questions are set to go in a random order so you're not just going to learn it's A, B, C, D the whole time. Um, there are some picture questions on there for like the circuit symbols and some of the really like and the triangles and the shapes in geometry. If you want you can write down the scores in the revision guides but you don't have to because um, I've deliberately done it so that nobody can check up on you because I don't want you to feel like you're pressured by this. I don't want to heap on the the the, the pressure that you're feeling. I don't want you to feel like you have to do it. I don't want it to be set as homework. I want it to be kind of like just another way that I can help you. So 
There will be links to all the separate things down below. There's GCSE Science, there's GCSE Math, GCSE French, and some A-level stuff up on there as well. Um, loads and loads is going up all the time. Um, like, every single day I'm putting more and more stuff up there. So, um, if you log in now, then there's loads and loads more stuff going up every day. So, good luck, guys. Um, I hope you find this really useful because I've been working really, really hard writing um, literally thousands and thousands of questions to help you.